Today we are gathered here to discuss the phenomenon that has been taking the world by storm, NBA athletes, and their affinity for marijuana. It's a controversial topic that has sparked arguments across multiple platforms, and we're here to understand why. But first, let's take a step back and consider the reality of the situation. NBA athletes are some of the most revered and respected sports stars in the world and yet, behind closed doors, they are no strangers to cannabis. While many believe it's a vice and a distraction, there are those who argue that marijuana can be a beneficial resource for NBA athletes. It provides them with a sense of relaxation and helps them to focus, allowing them to compete at the highest level. We know of many players who smoke weed. Let's look at a few specific cases. In his book Shooting Stars, LeBron James admitted using cannabis in high school. He also described how he and his teammates once smoked weed in a hotel room. In 2013, LeBron James was seen with a concentrate pen vaporizer during the NBA Finals. Allen Iverson thought to be one of the most influential players in NBA history. After retirement, Allen Iverson revealed that he used to be an NBA player who smoked weed in his early career. In 1997, AI and his friends were stopped by police for speeding during the off-season. The incident resulted in his arrest for carrying a concealed gun and possessing cannabis. He received a community service sentence. In 2011, Clay Thompson was arrested for possessing cannabis in his car. When asked if he supported recreational use, Thompson responded that marijuana should solely be used for its medical benefits. He believes cannabis is extremely beneficial for those struggling with pain. Carmelo Anthony was cited for cannabis possession at Denver International Airport in 2004. He claimed it belonged to his friend, who later signed an affidavit to affirm this statement. Carmelo Anthony has also been linked to driving under the influence and brawling at games. Kevin Durant once posted a photo of himself smoking on Twitter but later claimed his account was hacked. He recently announced a partnership with an e-commerce marijuana website. After his retirement, J.R. Smith revealed that he was among one of many NBA players who smoke weed, although this wasn't much of a secret. In 2012, he was spotted holding a blunt while on vacation with Rihanna. Some fans even thought J.R. Smith was high during game one of the 2018 NBA Finals. He infamously forgot the tied score and held the ball without doing anything while the clock ran out of time. Michael Beasley is widely regarded as one of the best freshman college basketball players of the 2000s. He's also been linked to heavy cannabis use. David Kahn once said Michael Beasley was a kid who smoked too much marijuana. In 2008, police responded to a fire alarm in the hotel room of Beasley and two other NBA players who smoked weed. They noticed a strong cannabis smell but couldn't find any tangible evidence. Michael Beasley was involved in several drug-related incidents from 2008 to 2019. Have you ever wondered why NBA players smoke weed? The truth is that these athletes have a variety of reasons for using marijuana. For starters, the rigors of basketball can be physically and mentally draining. Marijuana can help players relax and focus in the moment. In addition, marijuana can be used to manage physical pain. NBA players often experience joint and muscle discomfort due to the physical demands of the game. Cannabis can help reduce inflammation and provide pain relief. Finally, marijuana can help to boost a player's confidence. Many players report feeling more comfortable and secure when taking the court after using cannabis. These are just a few of the reasons why NBA players smoke weed. From a medical perspective, marijuana is a safe and effective way to manage physical pain and improve mental performance. From a personal perspective, cannabis can help players relax and focus, as well as perform at their best. Why is it banned in sports? Marijuana has been prohibited in most professional sports organizations for decades, as its use is associated with a number of risks, such as impaired physical and cognitive performance. Additionally, marijuana use is seen as a violation of the spirit of the game, as it is viewed as an attempt to gain a competitive advantage. Furthermore, marijuana may increase the risk of injury due to its known effects on balance and coordination, as well as its associated drowsiness or confusion. Finally, the use of marijuana can be seen as a sign of poor sportsmanship and may be seen as a way of avoiding team activities. As a result, most professional sports have maintained strict bans on marijuana and have strict punishments for anyone caught using it. In the 21st century, the problem of how much weed young people smoke is bigger than ever. One exception to this is the child of the greatest basketball player of all time, Bronny James, who was signed by Nike at the age of 18. To find out how and why the world's biggest sports brand did it, watch our video on the subject.